Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. In this video, we're going to do some sound design. I'm going to show you the CDP front end extension for Reaper. It's made by Xena Kios, and you can get it from this website right here. I'll have a link in the blog post and the video description. You can download the extension on this blog post near towards the bottom of the page. And uh, to use it, you need the Composer's Desktop Project installer. And that's here, this unstable sound website, grab the Mac software or the PC software. So once you download the software, you run the installer, you log out or restart, and then you can install the uh, extension, which goes into your Reaper folder, which is uh, Reaper folder, and then the user plugin section. Just drop in the CDP front end file into the user plugins folder. To open the plugin or extension, uh, open up the action list and type in uh, CDP. And there's a reset button and a show hide. So I'm going to run and close. And it brings up this window. So this is not a plugin. It's an interface to allow you to use a command line sound processing tool in Reaper. So this makes things so much simpler. Uh, you don't have to type in code and guess at what you're going to get out. So uh, this is really cool. And let's just get into the sounds to convince you that this is cool and worth installing. So right now I have some vocals loaded up here. Play you the clean vocal. I'm waiting for you. So answer the question. And here it is in CDP using the distort repeat um, and a couple envelopes to modulate it. You can turn off and on the envelopes. So Right now, we're looking at just this section of this longer file. And anytime you make a change to the parameter, it's going to reload the file and apply the settings. So kind of crazy sounds. Just grab something else at random. These are different presets or different um, types of effects that you can apply to the sounds. So it stretched this file to 70 seconds long. Pretty crazy. Uh, here's another one. So let's grab another file. You just select it and then click Import Selected Item. This is a crash symbol. Let's try the uh, stretch time. And let's set it really slow. I think that's slower. So every time you make a change, you have to create a new file for this to work. Uh, CDP is a command line tool, as I said before. It's taking too long when you make a change. Sometimes you have to make a smaller selection, especially with something like this. I've just stretched something that was only a few seconds long to, to 80 seconds long. So it's making a new file on the hard drive and then it's loading it back into this extension. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. So 
So if we like this sound, we want to use it in our project, you can click the render button and that will apply this new sound to the original file as a new take. So we'll click render here. Okay. So take two is our process sound and take one is the original. Let's grab a tambourine import. Let's look at some of the other settings here. There's a buffer size. There's the wait time in seconds. So I have this set to 15 seconds. So if it's taking longer than 15 seconds to process and create that new file, then uh, you'll get a warning. Uh, you can scale the interface size. You can also just click and drag to change the size. It's always nice. Um, asking for output file name. You can choose a render folder, but uh, I think these other settings override it. So um, auto, if, I think if you auto render is on, then the render folder is not used, and it just goes into whatever the project folder is. I think that's how it works. Uh, this is beta software, so it's not perfect. Um, there's still bugs, and this is you know, a new way of accessing something that's ancient, like 25 years old. You know, It's still pretty cool. And you can turn on and off looping playback. What do we have here? Tambourine. So let's preview it. Let's do blur. Pretty weird stuff. Here's a, a break beat. Make a smaller selection. So again, let's save this one, click render. It resizes the, that file based on how long our clip is. If this is a tool that you'll find yourself using a lot, I recommend adding this to the extensions menu right here. Uh, to do that, open up the action list, click menu editor, and then go to the extensions drop down here. Scroll down, click add, and then just choose it from the action list. So if you're into sound design and you want a new way to get uh, variations on your samples, something new to play with that's free, uh, check this out. It's pretty easy to install and it's a lot of fun to play with. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out reaperblog.net.